it's been a while since I've posted any content on my YouTube channel and I've had several people asking me um, about the gentle flow class that I teach at the Landing Spa in Canning. So the following is a short 10 minute flow. It is a sample of what you can expect if you come to the Landing Spa in Canning and flow except uh, there it's a 60 minute class and so this is just a small sample of what a gentle flow with me is like. So we're just going to begin seated on your mat, cross-legged or if that's uncomfortable for you you can have your feet out so just just a comfortable seated position. I'm going to just start by taking a few deep breaths. And breath in through your nose, filling up your chest, filling up your belly, and then exhaling, letting it all go. And just a couple more breaths like that. Deep breath in, cleansing, drawing energy in through your nose, all the way down, rooting into the ground, and then open your mouth and let it all go. Take another breath in like that, breathe in through your nose. And one last time, maybe you want to let an audible sigh. Ah, just let it all go. Just taking a moment to set an intention for your practice. Think of why you came here, what it is that you want to get out of being on your mat. And for now, we're just going to take a couple small movements with our neck, beginning at the top of our body. So extend your right arm out nice and long, and then take your left hand and bring it to your right ear or just above your right ear, wherever is comfortable, and not too hard. Don't want to yank on your neck, but just gently pull so that you're feeling a nice stretch down the right side of your neck. And then come to the other side, let that right hand go down, extend the left arm out, right hand comes to the left side of your head for just a nice gentle stretch to the side of your neck holding here. Remembering to breathe in and to exhale out. Come back to center, just shake out a little few gentle twists with your neck, a few rolls with your shoulders, and then bring both hands to either side of your mat. You don't have a dog biting on a bone next to you, or maybe you do. And then we're going to take a breath in as you extend your right hand up and over, bending into your left side, bending into that left arm, and exhaling out as you bend over. Inhale, come all the way back up, bring that hand back down. Exhaling out completely. Inhale, bring that hand up. Exhale as you come over. Inhale to come back up. And then exhale to down. So that's our little flow that we're just going to move through. So I want you to move with your breath. Your breath will have a lot to do with your practice, will have a lot of impact on your practice. So the harder, faster you breathe, the more intense the flow will be. So you can breathe in, reach up, breathe out, reach up. You can breathe with your breath really fast in this, taking it each side. Just be careful to keep your form. You don't want to go crazy. Or you can take this really deep and slow with a deep breath in, Exhaling all out, inhale to reach up, exhaling, letting it all come out, and just flowing with what naturally feels good with your breath. I'm going to take it nice and slow today. So 
So you just notice as I breathe in, I reach up and over. Taking it to the other side. And then I'll just let you flow for another moment or two, another time or two on each side. And then the next time you come to your right side, I want you to stay here. So maybe you bring your hand, maybe your forearm comes down to the ground, keeping your back straight. Maybe you look out over that armpit of your left hand and feel the stretch down your left side body. Remembering to breathe here, staying in the still pose. Sometimes people find it easier when you're flowing or easier when you stay. No right or wrong, just, just notice. Notice how you feel. Inhale, reach up, bring the other hand down, and then it's the opposite side, coming down to that left side, maybe bringing it low enough you can come down to your forearm, and if you can't, that's okay. You don't need to. Meet your body where, so where you meet resistance. Meet your body where you are. Looking out over that armpit of your right arm, extending out, feeling the stretch down your right side body, straight back, shoulders back so your chest is lifted, and then coming back to center. Nice little shake out here, roll up your shoulders, and then we're going to come into a tabletop position. So just hands and knees. All table means, so you, your hands are shoulder width apart, just below your shoulders. Your knees are hip width apart, just below your hips. You can choose to tuck your toes, or you can choose to ground your tops of your feet into your mat. And then we're just going to flow into a little bit of cat and cow. And same thing with your breath here. So it's an inhale to drop your belly and lift your chest, lift your gaze, look at the top of the ceiling or wherever the top of the room is for you. And then exhale, rounding your spine as though you were like a scaredy cat, bringing your gaze back to your thighs, stretching out so you have this nice round curve here. And then inhaling back into what we call cow pose. So again, flowing with your breath, you can make this a little bit more intense by speeding up your breath, quickening your breath in, exhaling out through your cat, inhale through cow, exhale through cat, inhale through cow. And again, taking this your speed, maybe you want to slow it down and really exaggerate that exhale and exaggerate the inhale, really feeling each vertebrae as it moves up and down, making it more of a yin and less of a power class. Again, you decide, go back to your intention and what you wanted, why you showed up on your mat, and just flow with that cat and cow, continuing. Just go for another breath or two here. Another flow exhale. And then when you're ready, come back to neutral spine. And we're gonna extend your right leg out behind you. Lift the right leg up off the ground. And then if this is enough for you, you can just stay here. If this is all the balance that you have, that is fine. You can add on to this and challenge yourself a little more by lifting your left hand. The left hand comes in rotated so that your thumb is up like you were about to shake somebody's hand. And your gaze is neutral down at the floor so that your neck is long. You wanna create nice long space between your spine. From root to crown, nice stretch. And then when you're ready, bring those limbs down and just switch sides. Feel how it feels to have that left foot extended and then left foot lifts. If you want to add on, extend the right arm, thumb up, 
Toes are pointed down to the floor so your heel is pushing out towards the back of the room or the back of your mat. Your gaze is at the floor and then bring it back down. So then we're just gonna take a little bit of flow with this balance. So it's an inhale to reach out, extend those limbs, and then exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, opposite side, extend out, get long. Exhale, bring it down. Second side, inhale, challenging your balance. Exhale to let it go. Inhale to get long and exhale to let it go. Flowing with your breath. So maybe this is really long, exaggerated breaths, holding for a few moments. Exhaling out nice and slow, bringing your limbs down with control. Or maybe it's quicker breath, in and down. In and exhale. So you decide, just challenging your balance, working a little bit of your core, getting out of your head and into your body. One last time for each side. And when you're ready, come back to neutral spine. Widen your knees to the outer edges of your mat and let your hips sink back over top of your heels. Moving into a child's pose, begin to walk your hands out in front of you and then let your forehead come down to meet the floor, elbows, wherever is comfortable, just land here for just a moment. Child's pose is a resting pose, so you should see, feel very little resistance here. Come back up to hands and knees, cross ankle over ankle, and come back to seated on your mat. And that was a short sample of a gentle flow. Thank you for practicing with me. If this is your speed and style, and you'd like to join me at the landing spa, I would love to see you there. Take a deep breath in, put your hands together at your heart. <sighs> Exhale out gratitude. Thank you.